Hey, how y'all doing? It's your girl, your lady, 1K Yellow Diamond, and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to my channel. Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody doing? <laughs> How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fine and fabulous. And if not, remember you have the key. You have the key to be fine and fabulous. Fine and fabulous. Fine and fabulous. You have the key to your life of happiness, peace, love, and happiness. Okay, y'all, I want to welcome all my newbies. Welcome to 1K Yellow Diamond channel. I hope you enjoy the entertainment that I post here. And to all my OBs, hey, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well and fine. All, <laughs> all of you. OBs, please show the newbies around in 1K Yellow Diamond town. Okay, all right, show them around. Let them know how we do over here. Okay, everybody please leave a comment, share this video on your social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Um, please hit that post notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the like button. As you can tell by the title, wait a minute y'all, I had to get this warmed up, let's get this warmed up, I don't know how high, but I have some what? Sofa tea, season flour, I mean spicy season flour and season flour. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. I have some sofa tea season flour. So I can't wait to try it. Yes, I can. So if you don't know who Sofa T is, baby, y'all is living up under a rock, as they say. I don't know where y'all at, what y'all doing. I know it's a billions of people on this YouTube, but baby, go check out Sofa T. She cooks. She do a lot of um, good things. She cooks. She's a cook. Cook, cook, cook. She got her own flower, baby. First time ever hearing this. You know, you see your, uh, what you call it, your, um, what you call that? You see your fish fry flour and stuff like that for fish. But I never, well, I have seen chicken, but I never seen some seasoned flour. So that's what we're going to use. Which one do you think we should use? Shall we use red or shall we use blue? Shall we use red or shall we use blue? Red, blue. Red, blue. Red, blue. Red, blue. I think red because my lipstick red. <laughs> yeah, let's use the spicy one because y'all know I like spicy, baby. Spicy. And this is heating up. Yeah, we want that heat up. Baby, we frying these pork chops. Of course, what else you gonna do with flour? We got some thick cut center cut pork chops, y'all. Look at that. It's been washed clean. I thought it been washed. That's a bone. Washed clean. I'm gonna add some vegetable oil in my electric skillet. We're gonna half way. Fill that up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we got that. Let's move that out the way. Yeah, I'm frying some center cut thick pot chops. Not lamb chops. Not beef chops. Not, um, what else? Deer chops. Not goat chop or horse chop. Pork chops. Yes, baby, I said it. Pork chops. So what we're going to do is season it up. Now this flour is already seasoned. I don't know how well it's seasoned. She got the ingredients that's in here. By the package you'll know what's in here, but one thing is in here is flour. Okay. And it's seasoned in here. So I don't know how salty it is. I'm going to treat it like if I'm using a fish fry. So I'm going to um, add just a little lemon pepper on the porch. I wish I had, wait a minute y'all. Wait, I need to get another flour. That's what I need. Let me bag this up. I 
want my pork chops on this plate. Nice thick cut pork chops. Yes, baby. And you know what? I haven't seen thick cut pork chops like that in a long time. I got it from um, H-E-B. Yes, y'all know my favorite store. H-E-B. And they had these thick cut pork chops. And I was like, yes. Yeah. I want to say they was... It was like $10. It was a little pricey, you know. Because you can buy a family, as they call it, family pack pork chops at H-E-B, Fiesta. I don't know about Kroger. Because I don't fool with Kroger. Kroger's too hot. I used to shop at Kroger's a lot when I had one of my stores over there buy Kroger's. But, yeah, so let's season this with a little lemon pepper. Just a little. Because, like I said, I don't want it salty. And we really want to taste that sulfur tea flour. So, lemon pepper on one side, flip it over, flip it over, while the grease is getting hot, flip it over, and flip it over. Sprinkle some, okay, then we're going to add a little. A little mustard. Mustard. Who don't fry pork chops with mustard? <laughs> yeah, my hands got to get dirty. Dirty down, dirty, dirty down south. South dirty down. Yeah, something like that. So mustard. Uh, yeah, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Yeah, that's a lot of mustard, y'all. And we're going to flip it and do the other side. We're going to do the other side, baby. Nothing like cooking when you... When you, um, nothing like using your hands when you're cooking. <laughs> Grease getting nice and hot. Gonna add some mud. Get them fingers dirty again. Y'all, y'all don't have to use your hands like this. Okay, so we got the mustard everywhere, cause that's just gonna work. That's gonna work like a, um, a like glue. You want the flour stuck to your pork chop. Okay, I got her all out the picture. Okay, let me go wash my hands. We'll be back to use sulfur tea flour. Fry up these pork chops, baby, pork chops. Let me go wash my hands. Okay. Spread my hands on. Then get nice and hot. So. We don't need this. So next we're going to open up the package. I was going to do it like the good old country girl normally do. Put it in a, a plastic bag and shake it. But I'm going to do this different. We're going to do this different since we use some different flour. I'm going to... Ooh! Ooh, it smells good, y'all. That's how it look. And we're going to just put it on the plate. Ooh, yeah! Because this is the spicy one. The seasoned flour is not turn this down a little. So let's get to battering this flour. See the flour? Mmm. Just taste 
spice. Ooh, it's spicy. Woo, okay. Pack it on, baby. Pack it on. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the flour. Whoop. Shake it off. I can get one more in there in that skillet. We don't want to crowd. You know when you fry, you don't want to crowd the pan. You don't want to crowd the pan, baby. And these some thick pork chops, so you're gonna have to cook them nice and slow. Nice and slow. About I'll say about five minutes. Five minutes on both sides, which I'm going to turn the heat up. Woo. Okay, y'all. It's frying up, baby. It's frying up some things around here. I'm going to put it here because this is what... Maybe I should have plate that. I'm tripping. Let me get a bigger plate. A bigger plug. Cause I got to uh, drain it. When it come out the grit. Hey, let's see if we can flip it. I really don't like using these tongs. I don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. Let's turn it over. Turn it over. Turn it over. Let that cook. Cook for another. <laughs> cook for another five minutes, and we gonna see. You hungry? I'm frying some pot, some thick pot chops, baby. Sent to cut, honey. <laughs> yeah, we gonna let that cook for five minutes on that side, cause on the first side, let it cook for probably about ten minutes. Because I've been busy doing some things. I made some jalapeno cornbread. I made some um, steamed vegetables. And I made some good old butter. Baby, y'all know nothing about the steamed buttered rice. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. A mukbang with, with this. What? Nah. Woo. Let's drain it. Hopefully they done. <laughs> I'm just playing. They should be. I'm going to sit it on the flour so it can drain the excess free off of the hot chops. Thick cut, center cut, what size? Yes, baby. Mmm. I'm 
going to drop that. Put this last one in. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. Well, it smell good. Let's do a thumbnail, baby, because this is the flower we use. We use the spicy one. Let me throw this away. I'm going to use that for a display. Sofa tea, spots of flour. Hopefully this is a great thumbnail. Sofa tea, thick cut pork chops. Well, sofa tea flour. If you want to see me taste this, look at that. Just came out the grease. Go on over to the mukbang video. I am doing a mukbang video. I'm doing a soul full tea, soul food mukbang. Pork chops, something else. You got to come over there and see. But come on over there and join me. I can't wait to taste it. And hey, that's all what I can say. So come on over. I got the last one frying. It's time to do the mukbang, baby. Mukbang video. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you um, check the information. I mean, check the description box below. I'm going to have all sofa tea information in there. So you can go check her out. She's a YouTuber. She got her own flour. She be cooking up some things. Sofa tea seasoned spicy flour. So go check her out, okay? I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, bye. And we're going we're going we're going we're going grab a piece. Here, yeah, grab it. <laughs> I'm all over there. <laughs> grab it, baby. <laughs> all right. See you on the mukbang video. Mukbang video. Mukbang video. Mukbang. 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 Bye. <laughs>